Hey guys, welcome to the CompTIA Network Plus Pop Quiz. As you already know, Network Plus is one of the most important IT certification and my pop quiz will cover the complete exam objective. Thank you to all my subscribers. If this is your first time, please hit the subscribe button for future content. Please hit the like button and comment below. Your feedback is greatly appreciated. And let's start with the pop quiz. All right, guys, so now we are on part 23 of the CompTIA Pop Quiz Network Plus. All right, number one, when extending the range for a 2.4 gigahertz uh, WLAN, you can use non-overlapping channels for adjacent coverage cells. However, there should be some overlap in coverage between those cells using non-overlapping channels to prevent a connection from uh, dropping as a, a user roams from one coverage cell to another. What percentage of coverage overlap is recommended for these adjacent cells? A, um, 5% to 10%, B, 10% to 15%, C, 15% to 20%, or D, 20% to 25%. Correct answer is B, 10% to 15%. The recommended amount of overlap is 10% to 15%. Number two, if a WLAN does not need a user to provide credentials to associate with a wireless access point and access the WLAN, what type of authentication is in use? A, WEP, B, SSID, C, Open, or D, IV, which is initialization vector. The question is C. Open authentication permits the use of wireless LAN with no credentials. This is useful in, in public, free Wi-Fi spot, or in a guest area in enterprise. Three. WEP's RC4 approach to encryption uses 24 bit of characters added to transmitted data such that the same plain text data frame will never appear as the same WEP encrypted data frame. What is this string of characters called? Um, A, initialization vector, which is IV, B, chips, uh, C, orthogonal descriptor, or D, session key. The correct answer is A, initialization vector. The strings of character is an initialization vector, or IV. Number four, which standard developed by the Wi-Fi Alliance implements the requirements of IEEE 802.11i? A, TKIP, B, MIC, C, WEP, or D, WPA2? Core answer is D, WPA2. The IEEE 802.11i requirements are found in WPA2. Number five, which security techniques uses wireless technologies to create an invisible boundary around some point? A. WPA3 B. LTE C. Wall driving or D. Geofencing The correct answer is D. Geofencing Geofencing permits the creation of boundary for administrative alerts and actions. Okay guys, that covers today's topic. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Please leave comments and suggestions regarding future content. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thanks, guys. See you next time.